Again, it's Priscilla Batso in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have primed a 14 by 14 inch canvas with some turquoise from Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. And it had pouring medium in this time and I gotta say, the last time I made a lake scene, but the canvas was kind of sticky when I started. Not really sticky, but just not the way I would want it to be. This is only one coat. It's not perfect, but it's a pr layer of primer, so I'm not worried about it right now. I have some ideas about what I might want to do, and starting with making sure there's no dust from the neighbor's lawnmowers on my canvas. And I like the idea of the horizon line being where the ocean is. But I also like the idea of having some stuff at the bottom being representational of some kind of sand dune. And I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I'm perfectly willing to try it out right now. And I'm going to use some other colors. I think I made that. That's very liquidous. Wow. That's been sitting around for a while. I think I'm going to use some gold. I might even use a couple different colors of gold. So what I really want to do is see how this works. And if I need to swipe it across, I will. But in the meantime, let me just pretend that's not there. I'm going to move some of my paint out of the way and go ahead, peel up an edge catcher. And what else do I want in there? You know what? I want some more. I want some Anita's, Anita's metallic black, which is very great. And I can actually get out of here right now. Whoops. Now my idea is if I can make the sand dune area, then I can also add some what looks like grasses or reeds to it after that. And we'll see if that works that way. I'm going to let all the paint that I can get to pull down at the bottom, down at the bottom, flow it back up, rock, rock the edge catcher, line the side of the canvas up with the place where I expect the paint to flow over to. I'm going to wonder if I have enough paint but I don't want an excess. I mean, I do want enough excess to flow toward the edge and then to push it back again. But I think what I've been doing a lot lately is using my OXO omelet turning spatula available on the Amazon the Zen link below the video. And I'm gonna scrape off what I've got left over there on the edge catcher and add it right to the edge. Let's make sure I haven't left anything off there. I don't really mind those little orange, those little turquoise um, gaps, but I'm not sure that they're going to be what I want there either. I'm not sure it looks anything like a sand dune, but it's it's an abstract impressionist expressionist. It's it's a lot of things. Um, I'm going to knock that off of there right now. I really wanted some uh, some sand up above that, but I'm going to take a risk and and try and convince myself that it's okay to go ahead and put some gold in there as part of the beach. But it's hard to make up that, make my mind up about that because really I'm thinking I want reflections. If it's wet sand, I want reflections from the sky. And those are little splatters from when I added my paint. So I have my sort of sand dunish place. And I am sort of blending it a little bit. And I'm not worried too much about those anomalous turquoise spots. They were kind of cool, but um, if they get closed up by me running a skewer through them, oh well, never mind. And I can put some more gold in there if I want to. And I may, just because that way I know that I have something to put my, my grasses on top of that might be representational of catching the light but I want to run a skewer through it to blend it down in somewhat. I really want to swipe across some gold and see how it looks, but I think I'm just going to have to wait for another time and do, do a piece with that specifically in mind. I'm going to take any and all of the paint that's on my skewer and use it anywhere that I need to on the edge to complete and make that pattern that flows over the canvas. All right, so now, now that's bugging me. <laughs> Come on out of there. 
I have a damp rag. I always have a damp rag. I, I suggest everybody who does this have a damp rag because the canvas was nicely cured for a few days, a couple days anyway. And uh, so the only thing I'm lacking is a dry rag because I don't really want water in there. But I am going to put that line of demarcation in next because if I don't do anything else except for that, really? Okay. That was the wrong skewer, obviously. And now it's gone. And it is hot enough out here not to make any difference. So I'm going to give myself, hopefully, a good shot at... I should have laid myself down a nice level line. But I'm going to... What is back there? Really? That was weird. It just went bump bump. Like there was something actually behind the canvas. I am going to give myself whatever colors I want in here to start with because I expect them to all combine to make a beautiful ocean. That was... Really? Wow! Am I going to have that kind of day? Son of a gun! Well, the trick is that I left my paints out overnight to test the theory of whether I could get away with it or not, and then I didn't use them quickly enough. Fortunately, it's not going to matter down there. And it may not matter above. I am going to quickly put my skewer right in there. And above it. I think that just means that the paints were hot. <laughs> or warmer than I was expecting them to be. So maybe this is too many experiments all at once. Alright, there's my ocean. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of want some purple in there. But I can put some purple in the sky. And I've got this nice paint over here on the side that I can fill in my edge with perfectly. Look at that. So convenient. When mistakes go right. <laughs> All right, so let's get rid of that paint, too. And what have I got? Anything in my way? No. I'm going to use my round front spatula from Princeton Art Tool Company. Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. And I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to find... Yes, am I? <laughs> I'm going to find some of this turquoise. I really want some gold. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, whether it's a good idea or not, we'll find out together. And I'm going to use, still use, you know what? I'm going to use the spatula I know and love and trust to spread paint. And I'm not going to worry about what anomalous, strange shapes come about because the shadows on the beach from the clouds, etc., etc., ought to be just fine. And whatever I do down here, will be reflected up above. And that is an Art Mines. It might be a purple punch. I'm going to let some of that color knock right over the edge, along with the beach color. I kind of want to put some blue in there. Do I have some nice blue? I have some color shifting blue. It was actually a folk art color shifting blue, and then I added some unicorn spit blue to it, so I don't know what that's going to be like, but... I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I still want to put some white metallic to make sure that that's not going to explode on me or anything. I really want to put it on my skewer so it's safe. I'm going to wipe my skewer off with my rag, which is going to have to get rinsed after this, obviously. And uh, that does look like the ocean. I'm happy with that. doesn't matter if it doesn't come out all at once. I am going to turn this sideways. Maybe you guys can see that better, too. They kind of look like little waves, actually. Which I really like. Little waves washing in on the beach. Yeah, that makes me happy. A different kind of seascape. 
So I can do whatever I want now with the sky. And uh, I, I may still put some grass in, but I think I want the, um, I want to wipe off my spatula so I don't have any of that sandy color in there. Although I could definitely use some of that right here, right now, over on that edge, so it blends. I'm going to pick up my canvas. Yeah, I got a strange line in there, but you know, sometimes strange lines add interest. So we're just going to make sure that my hands are somewhat clean. And I'm, I want to put some of this Art Minds Mysterious up at the top. Don't ask me why. I just want it. Oh, I left paint on my spatula yesterday. I can't use that one. Bad girl. So I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula again. I'm going to knock that over on the edge. I'm probably a little on the top. I'm going to have a, a quick check to see if I like that. Yes, I like that. And I'm going to go... I'm going to mix up a couple of things that I like in my sky while the paint is still wet on my spatula. Knock over anything I can get onto the edge. Now these are potentially very frameable as opposed to needing to be dripped over because they're definitely more scapes than anything. And I want that purple and I'm perfectly willing to give myself some of that. I like to put it down in dribbles just because that's there, that's here. Okay. Just because that way there's less of it and it pulls across. Which may or may not be a good idea. Now, anytime you get a little striation in the sky, it's probably because you left paint on your spatula. <laughs> See how I like that? I like it okay, but I want my spatula back. And I'm going to do that. And I might do this again too. I'm also going to pull some of that over the edge, which I think I can probably fake a little bit. But um, this is not the iridescent and metallic shimmering stuff is not the stuff to try and fake out as well as other things because it's very sheer. And it's basically just adding a little tiny layer on top. I really just want a little line of sun in the middle, but I'm not sure that I'm brave enough to do it. I'm going to do it. Am I? <laughs> I don't know. Let me go ahead and wipe off my spatula. And I'm going to put a little tiny line after I take that little piece of dried paint off. What am I going to do? I'm going to take a container. As long as I don't flip it into the painting, please. I'll let you guys stare at that for a minute. I don't really think there's much of anything wrong with that right now, so I'm not too worried about whatever happens next. But um, this is going to make me nervous. I'm going to add that little line of orange. And I'm just going to make sure... That's the wrong spatula. I'm going to make sure my edge of my spatula is clean. And I'm going to look at it again. And there's my little orange spot. And I'm going to do what I was thinking about doing a moment ago, which is to add some more. Some more color on the edge of the spatula, just where I can even tap it off. I could probably put some pink in there too, and I might like to, um, just because. But I need it to be a real pink and not a pretend pink, because the, the loveliness of the, of the paint I want to use is the neon. It doesn't really work out. Now I just want purple. <laughs> well, it's meant to be a simple scape the first time, so I don't want to get too overly complicated. But I am going to go ahead 
and tap down a few of those. No love bugs today, please. A few little tiny edges of the orange, that way it looks like it's reflecting off the sand. And then I haven't decided that I really want to add any um, any reeds to my to my front, but I'm I'm wondering if I could do a very similar idea. I haven't. And what I'm going to do is try. And I think that requires me to put several different colors of green into my little dish. Actually, how many colors of green can I put in there? Um, probably quite a few. Because I think I have quite a few. And then I might want to scrape them out and do something else with them. I want to put more than one of those in there. I'm, if, I don't, if it doesn't work out that I can use the, uh, the edge of the spatula, which I'm hoping it does, come out. Then I'll use the bamboo skewer. I thought about the basing brush, but it's really, um, it's really too extreme, too thick too. Although it makes me want to try it right now. Like, oh, I got two minutes left. To tell you guys, please shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you. And uh, that will help me out. So let's, I can use this even though it wasn't good for other things. That's going to work, I think. And instead of going sideways, I'm going through the colors. I meant vertically. I meant horizontally. Oh my. That's probably a little more texture than I really need in there, to tell you the truth. I originally wanted them to go all the way up right here. So maybe I'll just get brazen. Throw caution to the winds. Tell you guys I love you. There's over 80,000 of you. Subscribed. Um, if you don't see that you're getting notifications, you might want to check and make sure your settings have allowed them. I am trying to random change up the shape of the of the beach grass randomly. I'm kind of hoping that looks enough like a line of demarcation. It's kind of making me want to add um, something darker there right now before you go on. So it looks like a real horizon line. Of course it had to do that. How about... Trying not to wobble too much. Throw that right over on that side. I'm wondering how much further I want to go, and I want to drag some of that through and see what happens with that. I've got one minute to tell you guys whatever I'm supposed to tell you, and that's uh, check under the video for my Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter feeds, and also to, um, <laughs> to find the paint pouring recipe. And this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you guys for joining me. And I hope I get my grass right, because that's really the first thing anybody's looking at. And uh, it is what it is. I can always improve on it at some point in the future. I love you guys. I'm going to see what you can see. I'll tell you that I do sell my artwork, and I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. And what else? Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation for Students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors. Um, and if you want to shop now on my Facebook pages, you can find uh, Expressionist Art Studio totes and more. And what else? I don't know. Check, check the end screens for a contest. And uh, I know I'm half, I have an extra half a minute. Check the end screens for uh, playlists. Go to my channel header and you will find um, playlists by the hundreds and also by the, the topic. And if you guys decide to uh, binge watch, you help me out. I'm probably going to play with that grass a little more while it's still wet. And I'm not going to come back for a second video. But I might put a dot of yellow in the sky where the sun is supposed to be. And I love you guys. And I will see you soon. This is, as I said, Priscilla.